Hey everybody, I'm going to show you a video example of how I have a home theater basically emulated in my home using Kodi, which you see there on the TV, a plugin called Cinema Vision, which allows me to program trivia, pull trailers, and also send what's called action files, which trigger lighting events um, that will dim the lights to emulate the home theater as well as a program called Vox Commando which I use to send the commands when I speak. Um, I use this application here which is called VoxWave. This sends a WAV file to a virtual computer that I have that will then send the command to the Kodi instance on the TV. So without further ado, let me go ahead and uh, show you how this is working. I currently have the movie Antitrust highlighted on my screen, so I'm going to go ahead and tell Jarvis to take me to the movies and you'll see what I'm talking about. Jarvis, take me to the movies. As you can see, it has selected Jarvis. That is what we call a video bumper, as you can tell. The lights have dimmed just a little bit. Some Guardian of the Galaxy slides, trivia, facts, quotes from the movie. Um, this is completely adjustable within the Cinema Vision plugin of how long you want it to play, if you want to play just a certain trivia set, or if you want to play examples from different slide sets. You can download all these at cinemavision.tv. I'm also a content provider there. I've created a few different slide sets including trivia and the like. Um, and one thing if you've noticed too, I do have what's called a Philips Bloom light. It is behind the TV. There is an application. As you can see there's some matrix right there on uh, another Android device I have the camera watching the screen and what it does is it takes the average color on the screen and will change the light behind the TV so that it matches so the trivia is done thanks for playing now next up we're gonna go ahead and get trailers as you can see, again, my lights have dimmed slightly more to a lower setting, and the trailer will play. Now, the trailer is currently choosing a movie that is already within my Kodi library, and pulling the video from YouTube. So I'm going to go ahead, we'll skip past this part in editing. As you can see though, it does show that average color on the screen. Give it a little bit of ambient light. <laughs> Okay, the trailer has finished. Again, this is streaming from YouTube. Um, this is all set within the Cinema Vision plugin for Kodi. So, thanks for watching. And you will now see we play the courteous video. Obviously, telling you to shut off your lights. Or, I'm sorry, the lights have shut off, as you can see. And this is telling you to turn off your cell phone. We'll turn this down a little bit. So, right before the movie, the lights do go completely off, as you do just in a movie theater. 
the application doing pretty well keeping up with color changing. Um, it is going through the Wi-Fi <coughs> within the home, so it does have a slight delay. So I'll go ahead and demonstrate as well real quick. You can pause the movie and by doing so brings up the lighting about 50%. Upon resuming a movie, the lights completely dim back out. And then what will happen after the movie or when stopping the movie, there's a command that I wrote to go ahead and completely turn the lights back on. So I'll go ahead and stop the movie and show you that the lights come back on not too quick to hurt your eyes but in a manner that's nice smooth transition and we're now back at our home screen so I hope you like the presentation and the example of using the program's Vox Commando to launch the cinema plugin for the Kodi Media Center application to emulate